Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today it's going to be a Mindrate Madness between Firebird and Rico. Here on Lost and Found, the latter edition. This is the current patch. Top right hand corner, we have the red Terran player named Firebird, part of the Falpal clan. And in the bottom left, we have the blue Zerg player, Rico, part of no clan, apparently. Firebird plays random, so he said Terran. To let his opponent know what race he is playing. I'm kind of split on the argument between telling your opponent your race when you go random or just leaving them in the dark. I, I kind of feel like going random is basically a handicap, right? You need to be very, very good with all three races. And, uh, ooh, a proxy barracks. Proxy barracks, double proxy barracks here from Firebird. This is why I drone scout you guys. I want to see a barracks right here when the drone hits or else I will go into red alert mode, find these, take them down, and then win the game. Alrighty then. Oh, but the other side of that argument is, as the hatch first goes down here at about 16 supply, for Rico, this is a diamond level game. By the way, send it to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of mid rank madness. Uh, anyway, the point is, the point of this whole thing is, is that some people are arguing that you should tell your opponent when you're going random just to let them know what's going on. So they don't have to worker scout, put them, putting them at a disadvantage. I don't know. I mean, I just say if you're going random, then you're pretty good with all three races. Although, I did forget that MMR is separate for all three races that you play. So, if you show up as Terran and your Terran is bad, oh, does he see this? Oh my gosh, no. Look at that! Look at that overlord! That overlord is almost seeing it! Well, the other one comes up, no big deal. This is where... There you go. This is where the lings show up. This is not going to work for Firebird at all. That one's going to die. This one might actually go up, but it's going to be really hard. Yeah, these marines are in a lot of trouble. Slow lings versus unupgraded marines. Uh, yeah, the lings are going to be fine here. You're trying to position them into a good spot, but they're all going to die. Additional marines might come out here, but we already see the barracks. And this has been effectively shut down. Now, this is where, honestly, for the Zerg player, just flood, man. Send a whole ton of Zerglings out this way. Get a Baneling Nest real quick. Throw up a Baneling Nest now. You have the resources for it. Make a whole ton of Lings. Get your speed upgrade too, please, for the love of all that is holy. And then run up here, Baneling bust this front, and you win. Because your opponent has exactly one barracks to handle that. And it's just not going to happen for them. They're not going to have tanks up by that point either. That's how I honestly handle this. I can't believe Firebird is still making Marines out of these barracks because they just keep dying. It's been six Marines for four Lings. Come on, Firebird, you're better than this. Speed is on the way. I mean, uh, maybe get a third base at this stage of the game. I love the Overlord hanging out here, seeing if there's an expansion yet. And there's not, but it doesn't matter because the Terran player can't hope to kill you at this stage. Are you seriously? <laughs> Firebird, what are you doing? Is he sacking these barracks? He's just trying to keep these lings at home, I think. He is worried about them showing up and just wrecking face. So if he leaves these barracks here as a tempting target, and this bunker here too, then the lings don't go across the map. And we're actually okay. And we can go ahead and throw this down. We can start marine production. This is really gutsy. There is nothing to defend this uh, command center. Ah, oh, Firebird. I've never seen a Terran player take their proxy racks and just basically sack them like this. Is he going... I mean, is he going into mech? Does he not need these barracks at all? So very, very confused. Alright, so yes, you have Zerglings, but no, you can't break this front without Banelings, dude. Baneling Nest would be incredible. I, the barracks is scouting for the Baneling Nest, because if he sees one, he's toast. Now, that's another barracks. So basically, at this point, uh, Firebird is just starting over. The Bunker Rush was absolutely shut down from start to finish there. And, yep, that's not going to happen either. The Cyclone really can't do much against this number of Lings. There is a bunker, but there's literally no, nobody in it. If you had Banelings, you'd win. That's it. If you had four Banelings, you knocked the sucker down, you win the game. But now, now, you effectively have kept the Terran player to one base. Congratulations. Uh, your expansion is going down here. A proxy starport from Firebird at this location. It's going to get scouted, dude. This is the weirdest Minring Madness game. This is absolutely insane. Why is there a creep tumor right there, Rico? What is happening today? I don't know. I really don't understand this at all. All I could know is... Well, I guess all I can say is the last time this happened to me, I shut down a bunker rush. I came up. I kept the Terran player on one base. And that was it. That was all she wrote. It, it, I mean, he kind of turtled up super hard here for a while. Missile turrets and tanks. And I was like, all right, you want to sit on one base? 
I'll expand four, five, or six times and then get whatever I need. It turned out to be Corruptors as he went for Battle Cruisers because something. I mean, after his first couple Marine tank pushes didn't work out, he decided to try something desperate, but I saw them and made Corruptors. All right, so the Lings do roll in. They fly right on in there and get killed by Cyclones and Marines. They see the expansion is done here. Now look, this is spotted. Go kill this. Dude, get it. Force it to lift off or something. Do not allow a Liberator to get out of there at all. Why are you guys you're sending a queen sort of over there? Where is your vision, Zerg player? You see that red dot right next to your third base? That is a red dot. Check your minimap, players. Come on. Oh, he says. Now I'll get it. It's way too late. That thing was there and it built an entire Liberator in the time. Sure, Liberator. You're going to go ahead and take a few lings with you, but this starport is going to be forced to be lifted off. Yeah, and there it is. And the lings get out of the circle. I said the lings. Yeah, there you go. Get out of the circle. And you yeah, got some ling kills, but that's about it. I mean, this liberator is slightly problematic, but there's a sport crawler at the natural base. There's a sport crawler at the main. There's queens here. Rico knows what he's doing. 37 to 27 harvesters. He has way too many lings for what he's trying to do here. If you're not going to be aggressive with these lings, they shouldn't have been made, I guess, is the whole point. Lings can get up here and surround this. Banelings would be absolutely game-ending right now. Banelings with speed, which you totally could have because you do have a lair. Alrighty, you can have banelings with speed at the six minute mark if you went for the banelings to begin with. So Rico playing really passively and super allowing Firebird to get back into this game. He's making banelings now. He's getting banelings speed. He's getting plus one ground carapace, which is great. He needs to transfer some of these drones over to the third base too. Meanwhile, Firebird's doing Terran stuff. He's making marines. You have any tanks yet? He's got a tank. Uh, that's about it, really. His expansion is done. He's really happy that he's got mules. And uh, about it from him. He's starting to wall off this front a little bit here with the tanks in position, with an engineering bay there too, salvaging his bunkers. He doesn't need them anymore. And here comes Rico, about three minutes too late to really do anything with these Zerglings. This is going to be a wall off. The Cyclone, it doesn't do extra damage versus Lings, but Lings don't have very many HP anyway. Oh, snap. Firebird's third base in a lot of trouble. All right. Uh, yeah, it's dead. Now, Lings don't... Oh, smart. Rico getting out of there with the Lings, not suiciding them in. Liberator trying to set up just on the very edge. Are you going to kill anything with this? No. Because you're not... You have the mineral patches in your circle, but not enough of the mineral patches to where it actually causes problems. This thing is still... He's scouting with his starport. Firebird, you're a crazy person. And there it goes. Drones transferring in. Marines trying to get rid of this Overlord. Does he have speed? No, he dead. He dead now. See, this is the Marine tank thing I was talking about. You just surround this with Ling Bane when they're moving out. When the tanks aren't sieged and you win the game. Bane Ling's speed is done. We do have a lot, some lot of Lings and Bane Lings here. Is it enough? He doesn't have any vision out here either is the problem. He's playing blind except for these creep tumors. You gotta have Overlords out. You gotta have Lings out. You gotta know when the Terran player decides to come out. Because once they show up and they set up in siege of your third base, then it's a little bit harder to break that. Although, uh, no, this is not enough Zerglings. The Bailings are coming in. Okay, you gotta kind of time that to work all at the same time. If you're gonna do that, you gotta bring the Lings and have the Bailings ready to go. Lings around the backside, the surround, and then the Bailings go in. You can't really send the Lings in first and the Bailings show up four seconds later. Timing is of the essence, I promise. I promise it is. So Firebird says, let's keep this happening. Uh, we've got some lings here. He really wants to kill that tank, and he's going to get it. That's huge. Kill the medevac. Kill the medevac. Kill the medevac. Oh, 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 okay. Bailing against one marine. Killing the medevac would have been amazing there, but that's just fine. Fourth base would be great here, too, as the third base is going down for Firebird. If you shut down a Terran drop like this, a Terran attack like this, expand. They aren't going to come back with a huge army anytime soon, at least not at your level, most likely. Did that Liberator die? A liberator did die. I wonder who killed it. Queen? Any queens around? What the? Where are my queens? Oh, they're all over here. Uh, You could inject these other bases too, queens. Your creep spread is actually really good. You're connecting all of your bases, which is fantastic. You're pushing out different avenues here. Oh, lost a tumor there. Got to replace that sucker and this one too. Got to restart him. There's your fourth base. From Rico. Upgrade. It's going to be Stim for Firebird. He's working on plus one, plus one. It's almost there. He doesn't have combat shield. He doesn't have combat shield either, which is real good against Zerg. 
And he's just going to do a regular old drop. Macro hatch here from Rico. Really struggling to spend his money sitting at 1,000, 1,000. He's got a Hydro Disc Den. Which, against a bio tank play, I'm not a huge fan of Hydras. I mean, we'll see. It might work out just fine. Armory on the way from Firebird for additional upgrades. And here comes this drop. He's going to try to force cancel on the third, but how many links are there? 45 links. There are four. Oh, but they're on the wrong side of the map. Where are the links down here? Okay, well, see, this is. And then the main links come rolling in, right? Well, the fourth base is toast. Got some Hydras coming over. Got some Queens coming over, too. That medevac is in trouble, actually. I'm going to really boost the pack up into the main here. This is very brave. Dropping right in the mineral line. Kill the medevac. There you go. Now the Marines are a lot harder. Well, a lot easier to kill. Harder for them to do what they want to do. Target firing down a bunch of drones, though. That's pretty good. 11 drones have gone down. 53 to 51 harvesters, and we're 3 base to 3 base. Firebird has scratched, and he's clawed his way back on in here. Rico really, really... Really needs to work on having his Banelings show up at the same time as his Zerglings. That would be the one thing that I would suggest for him in this game. Alright, so Marines with plus one, plus one. Tanks don't have any upgrades yet, but they are... Well, there's an Armory anyway. Oh, there we go. Vehicle and Chip Plating level one. Great Wall of Supply Depot. Well, small wall of Supply Depots here at the third base, protecting those from Ling Runbys. And, yeah, fourth base and a fifth base on the way from Rico. Still zero vision. From Rico, which I really don't like. You need to sack Lings. You need to sack Overlords. You got to do that stuff if you're going to have any kind of a chance of knowing when a Terran player is on his way to kill you rather than just being like, oh, surprise, he's at my third. What am I ever going to do? All right, so, yeah. He, he knocked on this front door a little bit and brought the attention of Firebird over here. Okay, pick off the supply depots and get out. Just get out. That's fine. That is totally fine. Don't overextend. Let the fire supply depot burn down if it's going to. Good fire effects there. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, so fifth base going to pop. Fourth base going to pop. Rico is sitting at 48 workers. Really got to get around that 60. Well, 55. There you go. Just popped a whole bunch. Working on a spire here, too. Injects could be a lot better on the queens none of these hatcheries are injecting right now which is not fantastic news for the zerg play at Rico. creep spread pushing pushing i mean that's the thing i'm really criticizing Rico a lot here but that's kind of how you win <laughs> mid level is your opponent makes mistakes a lot of the time you're not playing perfectly so if they make more mistakes than you do then you can win okay you saw how many marines he had you need more bailings than eight uh, you're so, um, all right, well, the creep spread is enough that Firebird is being kept at bay to some extent here. Do you have anything in production? The Hydras are here. They don't have speed. I wonder if he knows there's a speed upgrade here. He just started it. All right, so he does have that creep spread pushing across all angles here. I am very, very proud of how this looks. We're still pretty blind around this right side. It'd be a good attack avenue for Firebird to get down there. Resources lost. 5,900 for Firebird and 5,200 for Rico. A creep spreading right in the face of the Terran army. I love it. I like it a lot. Firebird really needs to start scanning and clearing creep because this is getting very hard to deal with. It's getting to the point where you almost have to attack on creep was just a bad feeling. Okay, Rico's not injecting. I'm going to say it one more time and then stop whining because holy smokes, none of these hatcheries have been injected on. That queen has maximum energy. Why are you making queens? I guess for creep spread. Yeah? Alright. Where are your Banes? Got some of them here. Got the Hydras too. This is when you go. When the tanks are not sieged up. Here goes nothing. Banelings getting some decent hits off there, but now all the Banelings are gone. Now it's just Hydra remaining, which I don't really like all that much. The Hydras are not all engaging right now. Chasing the army back quite nicely here is Firebird. He lost a ton of stuff, but imagine what 10 more Banelings would have done right there for Rico. It would have absolutely crushed the Marines. The tanks would have been left alone and unsupported. And then been completely killed. Ten more Hydras on the way. Rico, your problem was not Hydras. It was Banelings. Which, okay, eight of them. Eight more, I guess. Pro tip. If you're playing against a Marine Heavy Composition, 20, 30 Banelings are fine in this situation. I promise. You will not regret having too many Banelings in most situations. How are the upgrades looking too? Plus two Carapace on everybody, strangely enough. 
All right, once again, the tanks absorbing a lot of those bailing shots, but that's fine. Because enough Hydras remain that those medevacs fled for their lives. Fourth base coming up here from Firebird. Actually, that's a fifth. Fourth is done. Fifth is on the way. This is really letting the Terran player get up to where he wants to go. Which is in a four base economy here when you have just have Hydras versus the Marines and the Marauders. And there is some tank support here too. So not ideal. And Rico does not turn around. He does not take the bait there. Ten more Marines in production. It's 70 to 69 Harvesters. Rico has a lead, but it's not a whole lot. Okay, I don't know how he's doing this at all without injects. You think he knows what they are? Like, you think he's aware? But how... How is he doing this well without injects? I don't understand. It is a mystery for our time. Okay, this queen's just like, I'm staring at the hatchery. I know there's something I should be doing. I've got 200, 200 energy. Ah, yes, spawn creep tumors. That's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. How many mutas has he made? Eight mutas, pretty good. Make another 10 here, which would be fairly devastating for Firebird, as he does not have missile turrets at any of his mineral lines. Zero missile turrets. Accidentally, oh, Firebird, no! Losing one medevac, losing two medevacs! And the third one goes down! No, Firebird! Oh, he saved it. <gasps> he saved his tanks! That was amazing! Alright, he needed those. He needed those tanks more than anything in the entire world. Okay, Muta's flying, trying to see stuff. You know what you really should be doing is going after those mineral lines. That'd be great. If you just swung around this backside, went after the mineral lines. Meanwhile, drop at the fifth base. Drop over here at the third base, too, doing a lot of work. Are we bringing the whole army home for these drops? Are we bringing the whole army home for these drops? Drones are fighting for their lives. Not what you want to do if you're a drone, but you know what? You've got plus two carapace. Maybe you can make it happen. <laughs> Ooh, drawing this army into the spine crawlers there, too. That hurts quite a bit. Ooh, this creep tumor hit a wall. Indeed it did. Hey, expand up here, Rico. You can do it, man. He's replacing the drones that he's lost. He's lost 32 of them so far. Firebird has killed five. And we're sitting at 51 Marines, 8 tanks, 10 Marauders from Firebird. He's got another base that's just about done here. He's just, this whole corner of the map is his. He's keeping up economically with Rico. And part of it, I have to believe, is that Rico has 5 larvae right now because he's not... Going for nukes! It's Firebird. It's exciting. Some exciting stuff there. Alright, pro tip. Mutalisks are really good at harassing mineral lines. So good at harassing mineral lines. Oh shoot, the missile turrets are up. Kind of. Not in the middle. Like, flying around the backside would be so good. So, so good here. Alright, so plus three, plus three on the way here for Firebird. Uh, we've resaturated the fifth base. If you are Rico, pretty nice Sim City here. For Firebird inside his main base, creeps. I guess that's still not spreading. All right, Rico is ready to rock here. I think. Does he have enough banelings this time? Seventeen is better. Seventeen is better. He's working on plus two ground uh, melee attack. Okay. Both players are maxed out. So we're maxed out about the eighteen minute mark here. There has been a lot of damage dealt. In the early stages, you should throw workers back on this gas and stop harvesting from these mineral fields, which are almost done. And expand, to be honest with you. All right. Well, Mutas, no. Mutas, do not do that. Pretty good target firing on the Banelings. We got some Thors in here, too, to deal with the Mutalisk. And doing it pretty well, to be entirely honest with ourselves here. Muta's trying to do stuff up here. A sixth base attempt. The entire Zerg army is completely gone. There we go. Muta's thinking about getting in here now, but it's... Wait. Okay, well... Well, that might have been it. I just... <laughs> oh, Rico. He's going for a hive. The 20-minute mark. That's 
mean, I don't know what for at this point. The Hydras are just not... Really not what you need here. Well, I guess a couple tanks are dying. And I guess the Veilings are going to get a decent hit over on that right side. Thor ends up dying. And this tank too. All right, so Rico making it happen. What he's trying to do here. He does have plus two, plus two on his lings, which makes him very hard to kill. Another tank is down. And another tank is down. And a ghost gets picked off here. And F Rico is suddenly pushing. Uh, good job pulling back here by Firebird, recognizing uh, it's not a huge army I'm running away from here, but it's enough to kill all of my stuff. Mm, tank down again. Hydras don't have that lesson. They're going to stand in here and I'll die. We're down to 134 to 132 supply. More Lings, more Hydralisks. Uh, these guys here. That That is what I would recommend. Another base would also be fantastic either here. Oh, good. Here we go. Here we go. From the Rico. Additional command center at the 6th base for Firebird. He's got 3-3 three, three Marines. He's got Thors with 3 armor. Working on personal cloaking. Is that what that is? Yeah, ghost cloaking here. He's going to try to close this out with nukes. Is what it seems to me like he's planning on doing. Creep spread in a little bit better here now. It's quieter. It's time for creep spreading. Again, that's what these queens are for. If I... Don't... Oh! Oh! Look, it's eggs! Look, it's an inject! Who else got injected? Anyone? Nah, just the main. Alright, that's fine. I mean, I've heard people complain that remembering to inject is hard. I get that. I, I have that problem. But completely injecting twice in a 20 minute game is just, I don't even know how you play Zerg that way. I don't. Another attempt to drop here from Rico. He knows mutas are out. Or he didn't know the mutas were out. Now it's corruptors. Specifically going to be about 11 of them. I do like the corruptor play better than the mutalisk play. A lot of situations. So dropping. Forcing to cancel on that fifth base. And then... Oops. That did not work because Rico did not go to respond to that attack at all. And he was still over in this direction. <laughs> Don't walk in range of the spine. He was given bad orders. Bad orders indeed. Medivac flying over this way into the main base. Is there even a queen here to stop this? No. It's going to unload. Couple Hydras show up. Going out to the Medivac. There we go. Now you're fine. Ooh, except the Corruptors. <laughs> We're here to clear out the Medivac and then couldn't because there wasn't one. Oh, he's just making Broodlords right here. Okay, well. Uh, generally, you want to make your Broodlords out towards the front just because that's where they're of the most use. Using Broodlords for base defense doesn't work at all because they're too slow. But if you can put pressure on your opponent and siege them... That's, that's their entire purpose. Another base replacing up, or replacing here for Rico. Um, squad, quin, sextuple pumping Vikings is Firebird. Makes sense. Okay with that. The Viking count getting kind of insane. There's still a nuke. There's still a few ghosts. I'd like to see a nuke attempt at least, Firebird. Finally clearing out some creep. How many tumors? He's only killed uh, 14 tumors in this game, considering how many there are. The answer is 46. It doesn't seem like very many. So finally scanning and finally clearing out as Vikings are showing up to help with the battle. And here come the corrupt. Here's that corruptor Ling Bane thing. Where are the Broodlords? There they are. Bane Ling hitting. Broodlords raining down. Corruptors here to fight against the Medivacs. And the Vikings as necessary. Steady targeting though from the right side against the Guardians. To some extent, taking a couple of them out here. Corruptors trying to kill. Everything else, the Broodlords are doing a fantastic job clearing out Thors, clearing out tanks. The Vikings are all gone. Somehow a tank makes it here. Oh, the ghosts are just using their regular attack on the Broodlords, and they clear them out. That was insane. These ghosts. Here come the Zerglings. These cloaked ghosts, though. I don't know if Rico knows these ghosts exist. And there's your nuke attempt. I mean, oh no, friendly fire splash. What was that? Sorry, I, I, I really need to see what happened to my nuke. Another base down here because why not? Here from Firebird. Was he too close to a creep tumor? All right, man, what happened?
I think that tank commander just killed him. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I think the tank commander was like, you can't throw down a nuke there and just exploded him. Real good. Because there was no reason for that tank to fire there and there's nothing else. There's the GG. Is that a GG spray? More broodlords trying to come in. Rico is starving. Rico doesn't have any larva. Yeah, I just don't know how you do this well. I don't know how you get this far in StarCraft without knowing how to inject. Uh, maybe that's... Oh. Maybe that's a challenge. Maybe that's my next one. I kind of like that for my next One Trick Wednesday. Is no injects and try to win a game at your level. Holy smokes, that sounds difficult. I've already done that, though. I might have already done that. I'll need to go back and look. I'll go back at the, and look at the list for sure. 148 to 200 supply here. Firebird is up. And looking good. Another nuke on the way. Firebird says it's, if at first your tank commander kills you, try, try again. No. Caustic. Caustic I, no. Nope. Yeah, once again, just attacking into the wrong location. The Broodlords are trying to do stuff. There's your steady targeting. And Broodlords are gone, and that's going to be it. That's all she wrote. Good game from Rico. Throws out the good manner. And Firebird is your winner in 25 minutes and 56 seconds. 34,000 resources lost for Firebird. 48,000 lost. For Rico, 368 lings, 108 hydras, 30 mutas, 10 broodlords, 31 banes, 13 corruptors, only one hatchery somehow. That was a weird one. That was a weird, weird mid rank madness. Holds the bunker attack like a boss, Rico does, and then just decides not to go kill his opponent and never inject and almost won anyway. I want to say he had a good chance to win there. Just, uh... Index. Good job by Firebird. It was a very, very weird game from him. I can't believe he didn't float his barracks back home when he got that bunker rush destroyed. But so it's, it's all good. Worked out in the end. All right, that's going to be it from me. This is Ben Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and your Midrake Madness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.
Thank you. 